if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We are going to start with the new unit and this is the last unit. We have completed 9 units uh, including 11th and 12th and this is the 10th unit that we are, uh, we are going to be starting. And this is biology in human welfare. There are 3 chapters. We are starting with the first chapter that is human health and diseases. In this particular chapter, we'll be talking about certain basic information, uh, some basic things about health and what was the earlier idea of health and diseases. And then we will come to the diseases part. We'll first learn some important terms related to diseases and health. Then we will talk about various classifications and then we will come to the actual diseases which are caused by bacteria, viruses, helminths and so on. After we are done with diseases, in this chapter only we will be talking about vaccination, immunization and how our immune system works. So this, these things are included in this particular chapter. So here we have to talk about two words which are there in our uh, topic itself. One is health and other is diseases. Now what exactly is health? In earlier times, whether we talk about um, uh, Ayurveda or uh, in Greek medicine, health was uh, defined as a state of body and mind which is controlled by four humors. State of body and mind and this state is controlled by four humors. What are these four humors and this theory was called a uh, four humor theory. Uh, according to Hippocrates as well as Ayurveda, this uh, particular theory was uh, popular in olden times and after the blood, blood circulation and all these those things were discovered later on. Now scientists know or we know what exactly are the reasons for diseases. Now what were these four humors? They were blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm. These were the four, humor basically means liquid. So there were four liquids of the body which were considered responsible for a person's health and the balance of these four uh, liquids. Now what exactly these liquids are? Blood is blood which we know the, the red fluid connective tissue. Yellow bile is the bile which is secreted by liver and stored in gallbladder which helps in digestion by emulsification of the fat. It does not contain any enzyme but it is essential for digestion because fat has to undergo emulsification. Now this black bile actually it was something which is similar to clot or when RBCs are destroyed in spleen. That is what was considered as black bite. And phlegm, it is the secretion from the lungs. So what is the balance of this? And that would decide the person's health. So if a person would have more of black bite, then the indication was that the person is not well and is having fever. So that was good humor and bad humor. So these things were popular in olden uh, medicine. Nowadays things have changed. 
So this is according to the olden time. Now what exactly is health in present day scenario? This is the old definition that we have talked of. Now in present case, if you are free of diseases, if you don't have any disease, free of any disease, then you are healthy. If you are physically fit, If you're physically fit, then you are considered as healthy. But WHO has given another definition. According to WHO, that is World Health Organization, the health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being this is a holistic a definition which WHO has given so if according to WHO if a person is considered to be healthy then it should be a state of complete physical well-being, mental well-being and social well-being now, what exactly is meant by physical well-being? Physical well-being means your organs are working properly. There is no pain. There is no fever. <clears throat> and you are feeling physically fit. Then that is the state of physical well-being. <coughs> Sorry. Mental well-being. Mental well-being means if you are not having any kind of stress, there is no anxiety, then that is mental well-being. And social well-being because humans are social animals, so are we uh, comfortable with uh, the individuals of the same species? That means when we see other human beings, are we able to interact with them in a normal manner? Like if you see a person on a regular basis, do you greet that person or not? If you see people who are living in your uh, neighborhood, do you uh, interact with them? So this is like a social nature basically. So if all these three parameters are perfect, then according to WHO, that individual would be considered as healthy. But for a common man, if we are physically fit, then we consider ourselves uh, healthy. Because it is very difficult to, uh, you know, uh, put all these or rather these two parameters uh, correctly. So if I say mental well-being, in today's time, for every uh, age group, there is some kind of stress. Like for you, the stress is like your exam, the competition which you have to face, the homeworks and the curriculum which has to be completed, all those things. As a teacher, I have a stress of completing the syllabus in time. I have the stress that I have to make a particular thing uh, easy for the students to understand. Parents have their own, uh, you know, stress, uh, job related or other kinds. So it is very difficult for uh, to find a person who is without any stress or anxiety. If you talk about the social aspect, in present day scenario at, the, uh, at our home, we are told that you should not be talking to strangers. So if you see a human, that is the member or organism of the same species, but still, we do not interact with those people because it is told to us, because the times are not right. So, leaving these two aspects, our health definition is if you're physically fit. So, it is a state of complete physical well-being for a common man and for this chapter also. So, if you do not have any disease, if you don't have any infection, if you don't have any pain, no fever, then you consider yourself healthy and if we go by this definition then only we can say that most of us are healthy so this is the first word of our chapter now what about the second word that is disease disease word is derived actually from the two uh, words one is this this is something which is discomforting not very comfortable and ease so anything which discomforts your ease or your comfort level is called disease. 
So whenever we talk of disease, there are so many things which come into our head. The diseases can be classified in various uh, ways. You can have chronic diseases, acute diseases. You can have infectious diseases, non-infectious diseases. So we will classify diseases separately. Now, what exactly is required to stay healthy? There are three main parameters which are required if you want to stay healthy. Number one is physical fitness. Now here physical fitness doesn't mean that you go to gym and get your biceps and triceps developed. Here we are talking about physically if all the body parts and all the organs are working properly. Then there is good food. That is proper nutrition for working of all these parts and then is exercise. If we are able to follow these things, along with this, when we say good food, pure food, without contamination, pure water, pure air, all those things are also there. And one additional thing which we have to add into this is hygiene. So if personal and uh, the community hygiene is maintained. So if hygiene is maintained, you have proper food, clean air, clean water, you are able to exercise properly, then these are the things which are going to keep you healthy. So this is just the introductory part of what is health, what exactly is disease, and how can we stay healthy. Now in the next uh, video, we will be talking about classification of diseases and we will also take up certain important terms which we would encounter in this entire chapter like pathogens, epidemiology, pandemic. These are the words which we use often whenever we talk of uh, health and diseases. So those things we will take up in the next video.